Hi, welcome to Ride Alongside. For this video I thought maybe I would show you the sleep system my dad and I are using this week in the Sierra Nevadas. We decided to use most of our gear from SOL, Survive Outdoors Longer. So we used the trekking poles this uh, emergency tarp that they sell. Make the shelter. And uh, here you can see there are two bivvies that we have. The one closer to the camera is the Survive Outdoors Longer Escape Bivy. One a little farther away is the Escape Bivy Light. And they're actually very similar, very similar material. The light is just a thinner material and it doesn't have uh, some of the accoutrements of the Escape Bivy. One of which is a, um, a hood with a draw cord. Uh, they both have this reflective liner, which seems to reflect some of your body heat. They're supposed to be very breathable and water resistant. Uh, they aren't as breathable as I would hope. Uh, I have felt a little bit of uh, moisture at night. But the uh, Escape Bivy Light has no... Uh, no draw cord, no hood, just these two flaps, which is why it kind of looks upside down. The, the logos are on the underside because it doesn't matter. It's the same on the top and the bottom. Uh, you can see here, I've kind of ripped a hole in it because it does not have a zipper, just these flaps. And the first night I tried it with my Thermarest inside the bivy, and it was just way too tight with my 20 degree bag in there. Uh, my dad's has the zipper here, and uh, he's able to get in and out of it a little bit easier, but not much. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to see how how the fabrics differ in thickness by showing you, but the regular Escape Bivy seems to be feels more high quality, thicker, more durable. But the light, it's its not that bad. It's, it's pretty thin, but it is very light. Um, and it packs up significantly smaller. I'll post the details on the, uh, the weight and the size in the description below, but you can also find that on the SOL website. We've been pretty impressed with how light and how durable the uh, SOL gear is so far. This is also a SL, SOL emergency uh, tarp. It's like an emergency blanket, really. But it's kind of just a thick plastic. It really stretches a lot. You can see the uh, impressions of the rocks and sand underneath when you step on it or put weight on it or uh, a rock like this to hold it down. You can see the impressions it leaves. It doesn't actually seem to be tearing the tarp at all or emergency blanket, whatever they call it. Put that in the description below as well. But um, it does good for a ground cloth and it'd make a good uh, emergency blanket as well. But uh, anyway, we got the trekking poles, a guy line out. Uh, these two are 90 degrees from each other. And we have, uh, that's with some paracord and taut line hitches. And then here we just uh, tied the inner strands from a piece of paracord to the grommets on the corner have been held with some rocks and it's uh it's pretty good you can see it's kind of moving around a little bit um in the the breeze that we have right now uh, we're not really worried about rain tonight but um it does reflect some heat back to you we could actually feel that the first night we tried it out um that this reflective coating on the inside here uh, really does reflect some heat down uh, back towards your face. I had um, a beanie on and took the beanie off and uh, just sat there and it definitely felt warmer underneath the tarp than it did 
um, out from underneath the tarp um, with, without the beanie on. So it does something. Uh, might not do a whole lot, but uh, it does something. So uh, it's beneficial. Definitely give it a thumbs up. But uh, trying it out again tonight. We'll see how it works. We slept under the stars with the just the bivvies uh, on the ground cloth last night, and we were very comfortable. I slept without my beanie the whole night, so it's probably in the low 40s last night, but um, not bad. Anyway, uh, that's kind of our setup we're using this this time when we're out. But uh, it's a amazing little spot we're in right now. There's some fires in in uh, the northern Sierras that are bringing the smoke down this way. But we're in fourth recess, uh, just uh, north of Mono Pass, just south of uh, Pioneer Basin. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching our video. Uh, I'll be coming to you with uh, lots more videos here real soon. Thanks for watching.